Hello fellow motorcyclists. Today it is Memorial Day Monday. There's not a cloud in the sky and what better day to take a ride on this absolutely stunning Moto Guzzi V11 Jackal in this sterling silver metallic silver paint job. This bike is in beautiful condition. It's got a set of Michelin Pilot radials, top of the line Michelins that have less than 100 miles on them. They still have the hairy nubs on them. He has the nitrogen charge upside down. Uh, shocks, high performance suspension, tires, and disc brakes. It has a Moto Guzzi catalog front fairing here, uh, kind of a sport touring fender. If you're not familiar with these Moto Guzzis, I can tell you they're one of the most reliable twins made. Uh, this is a fuel injected bike. It's an evolution, like the Harley Davidson motor, of a design that's been around for decades. This one's in beautiful shape. Uh, it has uh, a backrest on it, Moto Guzzi backrest, touring backrest, and a fairing. So, ready to put your bag on the back and go on a nice long distance tour. Twin rumble is just nasty. Oh, yeah. The, 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 these, if you've heard, if you look at some of our videos, we've had these with the aftermarket exhaust systems on them. They, they have an incredible sound and they're very torquey and they're super reliable. A friend of mine who's uh, uh, a Moto Guzzi specialist, him and his daughter do iron butt rallies on these bikes and they always kid around how the Harley Davidsons always break down and the Moto Guzzis are bulletproof. So they're considered one of the most reliable sport touring bikes, certainly the most reliable Italian one. And uh, this one's got the original Fatchy paint job. It does have a, uh, a um, knee ding in the, this side of the tank, which a good body shop could take care of. And on the left side of the tank, the paint's bubbling up a little bit on the bottom. Uh, the original fa factory paint. It's a 2000 model, so the paint job's 20 years old. And uh, got, it's got a little patina on it. You see how it's bubbling up right there? I didn't notice that until you mentioned that. Yeah, well, like, this is not something that's very noticeable. The motor runs like brand new, and it's got a brand new battery in it. It's just been through the detail shop. Doc, I've got to put the choke on when it's cold. There's a choke lever right here. The uh, electrically, everything works beautifully on the bike. The horn, the turn signals, all the idiot lights work great. The high beam and low beam. And it's just a beautiful bike. I'm gonna take it for a quick ride up to the tower. I'll be right back. So if, if you've, if you're familiar with uh, BMW twins, you'll be familiar of the. The um, torque, uh, torque lean that these have. When you crack the throttle at an idle, the whole bike actually leans a little bit because it has a, um, a lot of torque and it's a horizontally opposed uh, twin. Instead of vertical, instead of the, the cylinders being front to back, they're side to side. So, well-engineered motorcycle, well thought out. It's it's an evolution of a model that's been around forever, and we're going to take it for a little cruise. Couldn't ask for a better day. Nice comfortable seating position. The bars fall right where you'd want them. The mirrors are nice and clear and uh, big and bright. And you can see behind you beautifully. Get the speedometer's in a good spot. It takes a little getting used to the the, uh, the, the torque when you're at a uh, stoplight. When you hit the throttle, it's got a super nice rumble in the engine. You can feel the torque and power that it has. It kind of runs more, 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 more like a Ducati than it does a Harley. Uh, it, it just revs up super nicely, nice and clean. It's got a lot of power. I'm not sure what the top speed's rated for on these, but I'm sure, I'm quite sure it'll do 100 miles an hour all day long. We're gonna go up the steepest road in Rockville right here, up to the tower. Transmission shifts beautifully. They don't make roads this steep anymore. It'd be illegal. It's like a luge straight up. If you hit this third gear tap on your CR500, you can land halfway up the hill. We'll have to have Doug, Doug, Doug Danger jump this next weekend. They are coming up with 90, T90, T minus 96 hours till Rockstock. Let me show you. Uh, That'll be the biggest party Rockville's ever had. And we have even a bigger one coming later this summer. Motorcycle Mania. Nice running bike. Tires hook up beautifully. Handles nice. It's got good long travel suspension. Nice thick front forks. I guess they're, I'm going to say they're about a 42 millimeter. Definitely thicker than the forks on my Dyna, which are 39s. Virtually no flex from the forks. 
or a suspension. It's more of a sport touring bike than it is a sport bike, but the engine does have a very sporty uh, characteristic to it. Fuel injected so there's no, no carburetor issues to deal with. We're heading up to the tower. A lot of people out here on Memorial Day having picnics with their loved ones. You can smell the burgers cooking and the charcoal briquettes. There's the tower right there. Henry Tower, Henry Park Tower. And look at the view from up here. You can see all the way from to Mount Tom in Massachusetts, 30 miles that way and 30 miles the other way to West Hartford. Nice day for a ride, huh? One thing about a Moto Guzzi, it's not something you're gonna see at every street light. You'll see Hondas and Harleys everywhere, but it's kind of a unique bike. If you want something that's classy, looks like you spent a lot of money, uh, and reliable, that's got tons of power, and uh, is only gonna go up in value too. This this bike's 20 years old, so it, it bottomed out the depreciation curve probably five years ago, and they're starting to go back up in value as it achieves classic status. And as far as I can tell, it doesn't need anything. The tires look brand new. It's got a brand new battery in it. The fuel system was just flushed out and fresh fuel put in it. And uh, the oil looks brand new. It's fresh oil. The oil change was done when the tires were put on. So and then once since then. We didn't bother changing the oil because it looked brand new. That's usually the sign of a well cared for motor. Again, this bike's only got 19,378 miles, so it's a low miles bike. We get a lot a lot of bikes like this uh, up here in the Northeast that um, don't get ridden much because the, uh, they really don't get ridden much because it snows here six months out of the year and rains for three months, so. That's a steep hill. This corner comes up on you quickly. Oh, she moves when you rev her out. It's a V-twin. You don't have to. You can you can uh, chug it along. It's got plenty of torque, but if you wind it out, again, like I said, it runs more like a Ducati performance engine than it does a Harley-Davidson. One of the hallmarks of the Moto Guzzi design, it's a high-performance motor. It runs really well. And they're stone reliable. This bike's gonna run forever. Just take care of it, keep fresh fuel in it, the battery charged, and change the oil once once every three to five thousand miles. You won't have any problems with it. <coughs> it's Monday, Monday, two o'clock. This time Friday, the, the band will be playing in four days. The Hooligan Hill Climb is going to be up this hill right here for the street bikes. Then we've got the dirt, dirt Bike Hill Climb out back. Rockstock, May 31st, June 1st, June 2nd. If you haven't already clicked the subscribe button, please do. Click the subscribe button and uh, hit the notification button so you get updates. Here's our schedule, Rockstock, then Mini Bike Mania, June 21st. Motorcycle Mania, July 26th. Then we have the Cafe Fever event. And then Rocktober and Rocktoberfest, which is our haunted museum and music festival. Beautiful running bike, folks. Somebody's gonna have a nice new ride for the summer. Beautiful running bike. Low miles and new tires. Just went through the detail shop. It's all polished up to perfection. So got a cool looking dual tail light assembly there with the rack. Nice nitrogen shocks. Don't have enough uh, anything bad to say about it. It's a great running bike. I like I like the way it looks. Chrome spoke wheels. It's got like this gold anodizing on the 
uh, front brake calipers, which is nice. Uh, Brembo disc brakes, Pirelli tires, full floating front rotor. Um, just a nice looking bike. Big headlight, plenty of light at night. The uh, rear is a di disc brake, oh, also of course, stock mufflers. And uh, motor's not leaking oil anywhere. It's nice and tight. Um, compression's perfect. Has Moto Guzzi label on the front. It's in beautiful shape. Ready for another 20 years of riding. If you have any questions about the bike, give us a call. 860-454-7024. Good luck bidding on the bike. And God bless America. God bless Italy for building kick-ass bikes like this.